Well, uh, just to give you a sense of how today happened, you know, I had my regular 8.15 a.m. call uh, with uh, Materia and our senior staffers, followed by the 8.30 call with everyone else where we discussed what was going to happen during the day. Um, and then I spent a lot of the morning sitting at my desk here uh, getting ready for my speech, uh, my budget reply speech. Uh, and then a whole bunch of us went down into the lockup uh, at one o'clock. And it's a pretty interesting experience because you've basically got about 45 minutes to digest the government accounts. Um, the bells ring as they do at two o'clock and we all dutifully file into the house. Uh, and so it was really my job to try and highlight um, the, the level of government spin that they've put on these numbers, making themselves look good when in fact they're doing better all. So the Green Party was looking for three big things out of this year's budget. The first thing was that it would protect and enhance New Zealand's natural environment. So it would uh, you know, protect our birds and our endangered species, uh, it would uh, clean up our rivers and it would reduce New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. The second big thing that we were looking for was that it would fix New Zealand's housing market. It would enable first time buyers to get in and it would make sure that people who are living in cars and garages have actually got a roof over the head. Uh, and the third thing that we were looking for is that it would start the transition to a low carbon future. And the budget didn't do any of those things. I mean, it, it was completely devoid of vision. It was completely devoid of any measures that would actually fix any of those three problems. So it was a, it was a huge disappointment. And where it really leaves us, what the lesson is, is that if we want to get those things done, we have to change the government.